Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedgin Lee with an update for Ethereum. This head and shoulders, as we had reviewed in the past, completed in that every feature completed and then confirmed by decisively breaching to the downside the neckline. By the way, I'm using a log, semi-log chart. And then we took it basically a stairway step decline. Many are getting very excited by the recent Friday rally. It was a powerful rally. But I think We've seen this before. Here, 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 many places. And these kind of rallies are quite necessary to reload the bullish sentiment to the point so that it can be set to a lower low again. And since we've seen these before, I think drawing some trend lines would be applicable. So price could reach towards 129s. That's clearly a potential. Now, if price decisively, what I mean by decisively is it breaches to the upside this resistance line and stays above it not just poke and come back in if it pokes and comes back in actually that's more of a bearish tendency so usually price tends to travel within a channel if we draw another line across this let's say I believe what's likely is if you look at the support zones I drew, this small support zone will lift the price to the top trend line and came back down. And we could touch it again. But this larger support zone has a range, price range of 59 to 41 okay in this range and if the trend is still down and it is still down and I think the I've heard someone say it's probably smart smartest to find a very simple trend following method and and let's say we just use this channel as a guideline and the if and buts will be if price breaches to the upside that's bullish as long as p price stays within the confines of this parallel trend lines I think the more likelihood more probable event will be for price to decline maybe it'll go up and decline and that decline will be within the range of this support zone, I believe. So what does that mean? The recent rise has greater probability, in my opinion, of being a very dangerous bull trap unless price can decisively breach the upper trend line. So from a downside target perspective of sub 50s or so, it still remains and it would have well exceeded the minimum price one of this head and shoulders topping pattern. And the minimum is called a minimum because it's usually exceeded or is meant to be exceeded. And that's probably exactly what it'll do. It's just a matter of time, maybe another three four days of 
trying to bust through but failing and the pull effect pull down effect of this for the affinity for this support zone probably most likely will not be ignored so price will have a strong affinity to making a lower low towards this price zone of 59 to low 40s so what does that mean for those of you waiting to buy I think patience is required patience to look for that breach decisive breach if it does happen and it probably won't thereby patience to await for the price to decline towards the next support zone thereby you can probably take a short position for the active traders okay I hope you found this to be helpful have a great weekend